M0FXB, welcome to my channel. And if you find this helpful, please like and subscribe. So let's say we want to SSH into our Jumbo Hotspot PyStar system. How do we do this? So if you're already uh, on the page of your Jumbo Hotspot, and look, I've got the IP address here. Now, if you don't know that, uh, the way I use two programs. One is called Advanced IP Scanner, which scans your network. And it's this is free, and then you can find it here. It'll be called something like PyStar. Um, and uh, the other one I use on my phone is called Thing. I'll put these links in the description. So back to my PyStar, which is currently on Reflector 1 Charlie D Star. So go to Configuration, and then go to Expert at the top. And look, it says here, SSH access. Then here, the password is pi flatline star. Hit enter on your PC and then raspberry. It's two R's, enter. It doesn't show you raspberry when you're typing. So this is where you can start making changes. Now, I'm not an expert on this stuff, but there are things that you can copy from videos. Uh, like, for example, I, I got this to work with terminal mode on my ICOM 705 the other day, but there's so much more you can do with the PyStar system than just talk to people on, on DSTAR. I mean, look at all these settings. So anyway, the other way is, is some you may want to just use PuTTY. So PuTTY is, a, again, a free program. It looks like this. Let's see if I can open the window it's pretty much doing the same as what i've just done really but let's show you anyway so you get the putty window use the same ip obviously a different ip for a different item in your house so we're going to put in the same ip address 192.168.0.106 and then leave it at 22 and click open and then you get the warning just click yes and then it should be the same. So pi dash S T A R enter and then rasp very nice. This is the this is probably the proper way of doing it, I would say. And he's doing the same thing, I think. And then you can start making all these different changes. So I hope that helps you. Uh, it's definitely a part of the hobby that's fun, and there's so much you can do. And using putty um, it opens you up to uh, all sorts of stuff. Like the, one of the things I want to look at is. Um, running ft8 on like for, for example w let's put it in a w j s t x we'll hit enter ft8 and then we'll go to oh here's the page here with his downloads now i'm pretty sure that one of these is for raspberry pi now here's one here called raspberry pi buster arm so raspberry pi os buster and i haven't done this any of this yet but i'm definitely I've got myself a Raspberry Pi 2, sorry, a Raspberry Pi 0, the, but the new 2 model, which is super fast. So I want to have a go at it. So you get the idea. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you're finding my channel interesting and helps you uh, learn with me, then uh, please hit the like and, and subscribe button. So 7-3 and catch you on air. All the best.